time for a theory. What is up, y'all? It's me, and I'm back today with another theory video. Well, I don't think I have a mini theory video. Well, maybe I didn't, it just didn't upload. But, if y'all watched my last video, which I pretty much just uploaded, uh, I was telling you that I have a BTS theory about love yourself tear, love yourself answer, and all the other albums, because everybody in their mama should know by now that BTS is in their own connected universe, like it's the MCU or Stephen Kingiverse. Okay, now remember I told you I'm reading it off my computer screen because I wrote it down and it's a pretty long theory, but I'm also going to elaborate on it, and I have like an, like extra tabs open on my computer, but they might not be open, so... Yeah, okay. So, here's theory. Remember, I'm telling you, I'm reading it off my computer screen because I wrote it down. Here's theory. Uh, hopefully, you guys have seen Fake Love, Singularity, and... Fake Love, Singularity, and... Like, all the other BTS and B's. But the main three is, like, Fake Love, Euphoria, and Singularity. Okay, so here's my theory. If you watch Singularity... And you put on the captions on the video and you read the lyrics. Here's what I wrote. In Singularity, V talks about throwing himself in a lake and it's frozen. Like, just like how in Run, he ran into the lake. And they said in the behind the scenes, it was winter when they were filming. So, kind of corresponds with that. He said he was trying to hide himself and silence himself, like how he killed his dad in I Need You. He was also talking about that in his solo song, Stigma, how his sister faced punishment for his crime, killing his dad, because his sister took the blame for it. Euphoria is the theme of love yourself. Euphoria means happiness, but as caused by the line, you are the cause of my euphoria. You are the cause of my happiness. Fake love brings it all together for me. There's a ton of symbols in the video and in the teasers going back to Wings and all the other MVs. Like the Snickers bar in the carnival setting with J-Hope when his mom abandoned him as a child and left him with the Snickers bar. And the headband in the glass with RM. Because if you watch the Wings short films, you see that RM is in a room full of mirrors, then all the glass breaks. And he also, in the Fake Love teaser, gives up a headband, like the same headband he was trying to give to that girl that he liked. In the back with, in the back with V is a wall of phones, and it shows, and it shows a wall that says "Save me." That means two things. One, the phones show when V was trying to call RM, and he didn't pick up the phone, showing also that scene in the short film. But, here's the thing with the wall. Everybody who reads the wall sees it says, Save Me. Most people think it's going to their song, but it's not. If you look at it upside down, it says, I'm fine. It's sort of like two people are talking. Like, it's almost like two people are talking. Someone who's in their mind and someone who's outside. Someone is saying that they're fine on the outside, but in their, but in their head they're saying, Save Me, Help Me, and all that. Fake love, they mention about not knowing themselves and being molded. Some people think that they're talking about the girl, but I think they're talking about themselves. Because if you look at it, they're mainly trying to get over their fears. Like J-Hope trying to get over his fear with all that other stuff. And he's in a room full of like the carnival with the Snickers bar. And he was, he was laying on top of a bunch of Snickers and he was sad. And it just all goes back to Wings and the short film. And it just keeps going back to all the other things. Like, BTS Connected Universe, it is so good. And only, like, the true fans notice most of these little details. Like, if you watch my latest reaction video, I know it's the detail. But, the Master Singularity and Fake Love Extended Version to me represent their fears. Like I said, they're hiding behind a mask. Like, the mask is themselves being fine, but underneath the mask is someone who is sad, depressed, not fine. Someone who needs help. That's the main thing for me. It shows someone who needs help. They all say that they're fine, but they're hiding behind a mask. In the first fake love teaser, each of the boys give up something. We see all the items except for Jen and Jungkook. 
I think that Jen gave up either a diary, flowers, a camera, or an earpiece because they all represent like some of his fears. Like we've seen them in Wings, we've seen them everywhere else. We've seen them in no the video, and it's just a bunch of stuff that goes to that. For Cookie, I think he gave up himself because literally he is the only one who gave up something that he gets a key to it. So everybody thinks he got it, he got it. He got a key to something else. To me, he got a key to this door. And when he opened the door, it shows this masked figure standing there. But what else I also noticed, don't mind that. What I also noticed is when you look at it, he's in the same room that looks like Tay's in Singularity. And the masked figure is by a bunch of these coat hangers. But the thing is, it's six coat hangers with one person in the middle. Who's always in the middle of BTS? Who's always in the middle of their acts, their uh, concerts, their uh, choreographies, and their music videos? It's Cookie. The mass figure to me is Cookie. It's Cookie's fears manifested into one person. As you can see in Fake Love Extended Version, at the end, who is the last one to get the mask? Who is the last one to go to the others? Who is the one standing in the middle of everything? It is Cookie. It is cookie. Yeah, like like he is the last one to face his fears. And to me, I think his fears have... Actually, all of their fears have corrupted them. That's why they're all hiding behind these masks. They all tried to face their fears, but it ended up coming back to them. Because if you look in Fake Love, after that little movie scene, uh, Sugar, is su Sugar is surrounded by the fire. Like, in the fire that killed his mom, and when he's about to kill himself, and I need you. Jimmy, he's about to be drowned in Like, he's about to be in water. Like, water starts rushing into the room, just like how he tried to kill himself, and I need you. And it's also a practice room where he accidentally hit, and I think killed that one girl. Like, each of them have some, has something to go with something else. J-Hope, the carnival scene. That, to me, is like the biggest one to show that we're going all the way back to the other music videos and all of that. And what song was it? In the Blood, Sweat, and Tears Japanese version, you see them going all the way back to I Need You with RM, and he's getting the lighter, and he looks up, and he's and he looks up. He's surprised to see Jin for some reason. Like, to me, they haven't seen each other in years. Like, they haven't seen each other in years and all that. So they haven't seen each other in years, and he's very much surprised to see Jin. And you can tell they haven't seen each other in years because RM says, oh, Jin Ho. But you know what Jin responds? Jin responds, it's been a while. What do you mean it's been a while? I thought you guys were together all the time. He wouldn't say that unless they haven't seen each other in years or something happened to break them up. Something happened in the timeline, which I think we're going to see or we have already seen and snippets and parts, which I think we have, to cause them to break up. Because in Euphoria, Jimin and J-Ho look to be in a mental hospital for some reason. And in Wings, J-Hope and Jimin most definitely are in a mental hospital because you see it everywhere. And Cookie, he's like, it's ridiculous. Well, it's not ridiculous. It's crazy how much of it is going on. And if I go on this tab... If you listen to House of Cards, this is the full length edition, I had a feeling that all of the solo songs or most of the other songs go back to other music videos. Like Awake, that's talking about Jen. Of course, that's his song in the Wing short film, same with Stigma for V. But it's all talking about what happened in that album in the music videos. <coughs> Excuse me. But I listened to House of Cards and I was like, wait a minute. So, I'm playing the song. I'm leaving a link to the song in the description. So, basically, that line says, Insecure again, dangerous again, so bad, us, yeah. Insecure? Insecure about what? They might be talking about someone, someone who's like someone they dated or something because most of them think they talking about a girl but to me they're talking about themselves most people feel insecure about themselves and feel like they're dangerous 
Like maybe how Jimin and J-Hope were so dangerous to each other and to themselves. They were in a mental hospital. They are so insecure about their fears, they hide behind the mask. This whole song to me has meanings to it in almost every single line. This is how BTS shows how connected their universe is, tells a story with each new album. And to me, Love Yourself Answer is literally going to give us an answer. An answer of why they're like this and the answer to find their euphoria, their happiness. A way for them to find happiness and get away from all their troubles, depression, everything. That's what, this is my theory. This is a long theory, it's like a film theory or game theory video. But, to me, this is what it all means. You guys can tell me your theories in the link to the, I can't talk. You guys can tell me your theories in the comment section down below. I'm going to leave a link to House of Cards so you can look at this, decipher it, and tell me what you think in the comments. Alright, it's a long video. Not even gonna edit. I swear I'm not. Alright, make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. It's your girl Hannah Deuces.